Hello, and welcome to the webinar, which highlights our St. James Laboratory and our one year anniversary of opening this facility. Good morning, my name is Carrie Walter, and I'm the marketing manager for Intertech Caleb Brett USA. And presenting today with us will be Byron Pittman, Senior Director of the East Gulf Coast, Corey Pittman, Branch Manager of New Orleans and St. James, Louisiana, Shauna Ryder, Business Development Specialist and Site Manager for St. James, Lyle Johnson, International Coordination, and Daniel Mercia, Marketing and Sales Director, Latin America and Caleb Red Americas. Before we start, I'd like to review some items for the organization of this webinar. We've allotted a certain time for this presentation and also time for questions and answers at the end of the presentation. Please note that this presentation is being recorded and will be available for future playback on the Intertech website. All participants are configured to listen to only mode and will remain so for the duration of the webinar. If you want to ask a question, click the questions and answers button on the right side of your screen. In the new panel that opens, type your question in the box and click send private. To retract your question after you've submitted it, please click the X or the close icon. Feel free to submit your questions at any time during this presentation. We will answer all your questions during the question and answer session. The questions will be answered in order of arrival. So don't worry if due to time issues, we're unable to answer your question. We will send you the answer in an email at the end of this webinar. Thank you for taking time to join the St. James Laboratory webinar. Finally, don't forget to check our email in the next few days for a link to the recording. The agenda for this meeting is as follows. Our history, Byron Pittman will be presenting as well as Corey Pittman in this area. Byron has been with Caleb Brett for over 31 years with 33 years in our business. He's currently senior director over the East Gulf Coast, which covers East Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. He continues to be acting branch manager over our Mobile, Alabama office. He's been instrumental in the development of loss control and quality analysis programs. He's worked with several companies developing loss control and quality programs to monitor and streamline operations. Corey Pittman, Corey's been with, has over 10 years experience in the petroleum inspection industry. Corey's worked in several locations along the Gulf Coast including Mobile, Alabama, Corpus Christi, Texas, Lake Charles, Louisiana, and now New Orleans, Louisiana. His versatile experience includes laboratory technician, senior inspector, operations coordinator, ISO 9001 internal auditor, and branch manager leading the second largest branch for Caleb Brett in the US. Our subject matter expertise will be presented by Shauna Ryder. Shauna has over 27 years inspection and testing experience. She began her career as an analytical chemist in the New Orleans laboratory. She's been Intertech's project manager for data generated to develop the cap line LLS crude specification. For our capabilities and virtual lab tour, Lyle Johnson will lead that portion. Lyle's International Coordinator and Site Manager for the St. James Lab. He has 20 years at Intertech and has held roles as Inspector, Manager, and Database Designer. With that, I'd like to start our presentation. Byron, you have the floor. Thank you, Gary. Uh, first of all, I would like to welcome everyone and thank you for attending our webinar. Uh, four years ago, we had a vision to strategically locate a lab uh, in a position that would benefit our customers and partners. Well, we chose St. James because it's very instrumental to our crude business and your crude business. So we located the lab in St. James. Two years ago, I was put over this project. 
but we did face some challenges, but with, with our expertise and our teamwork, we did pull together and open up our lab in St. James. <clears throat> this, this lab is there to support our customers, to improve our turnaround time and improve our accuracy. And we want to pro provide the best service possible to our customers and our partners. This is all about a partnership with you and this is all about us providing the best service possible. Uh, we are there for you guys and anything you guys need from us, please let us know. This is all about customer service. So again, thank you for attending and, and uh, allowing us to uh, spend a little time with you this morning. Now, uh, introduce Corey Pittman. Thank you, Byron. Good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you for taking the time to join our presentation. Uh, just to follow up on what Byron said real quick, um, Intertake strategically built this laboratory to give our clients an advantage by uh, turning around crude slates, crude testing, in record time. Uh, we accomplished this by considering several factors, including our customers' need, uh, the right location of the facility, and the right equipment, and the right personnel to operate it. Um, our laboratory that we did choose uh, has additional space to add more capabilities uh, as the market demands change and to expand for additional product testing. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, there were recent changes to the Kaplan specs that, uh, that Shauna Ryder will discuss later in the presentation. Um, for, the, for our laboratory, we installed brand new state-of-the-art laboratory equipment, and we trained a team of specialized laboratory technicians to service our customers 24 hours a day. Uh, we're able to spot check metals and sulfur results uh, with what we call our Petri unit within five minutes of the samples being prepped, and that gives us an accurate range of where the final results will be. Uh, this will minimize, uh, you know, rechecks, repeat testing, or uh, possibly inaccurate results. Um, our inspectors, we keep, we keep on site at Plains Terminal 24-7, so this minimizes any wait time for any nomination requests or urgent needs. Uh, we're able to get guys there within minutes to, uh, to you know, get things sampled or uh, work any marine movement. Uh, so with that, I would like to introduce our subject matter expert, Ms. Shauna Ryder. Shauna, you have the floor. Thank you. Okay, yes, thank you so much. Hope you guys had a are having a wonderful morning and hope you're all safe and well. Just wanted to touch on a little bit of history of the St. James area and the pipeline infrastructure that has blossomed out of that community. Um, the actual community of St. James is located on the west side of the Mississippi River. Uh, the oil embargoes of the late 70s led President Ford to enact an energy policy, which eventually led to the creation of the strategic oil reserves. There are four reserves in the U.S., two located in Louisiana and two in Texas. The next large impact that helped develop the St. James area came from the inception of Loop. Loop is the offshore Louisiana offshore oil platform. It's physically located approximately approximately 18 nautical miles offshore of South Louisiana. This system brings crude oil from various places throughout the world, foreign crude, and has been paramount in helping develop the St. James area. It's estimated that close to 50% of our foreign crude that is processed in the USA today comes through the loop system. One of the other interesting facts is that the St. James community is part of the larger port district in the south of Louisiana. And that port is comprised of multiple products, not just crude oil. You have agricultural products, chemical products, fertilizers, amongst other oil products and that port delivers one of the largest tonnages in the western hemisphere so if you don't mind next slide please this is actually a picture this is an overview of saint james just so you know what you're looking at this is um the basically uh if you start to the far left it's the plains terminal as you move towards the right they have low cap which is a loop facility. You have the Department of Energy facility. You'll move towards the right of the screen. You'll have the New Star facility and out to the far right, you'll have Ergon. And you, if you look towards the bottom of the screen, you'll see an Intertech logo 
that shows you our location with proximity to the massive amount of crude containment facility in that region. What this is, is this is a map that illustrates the infrastructure. If you look far to the south of the map, far to the bottom, you'll see loop offshore buoys, and that gives you a, a geographic idea of its proximity to the Louisiana coastline and the 18 rough nautical miles offshore. You'll also see multiple large crude produ producing platforms that have pipeline connectivity. If you follow the system inland, you'll see that these facilities tie to that St. James region. That is the section that'll show you cap line, St. James, low cap, et cetera. The cap line system was originally designed to take Louisiana crude north. It should be noted that sometime later this year, the cap line system may reverse. It's, it's scheduled to reverse but has not happened yet. You'll also notice on this slide that through the Zydeco pipeline, you can actually move barrels towards the Houston area. Okay, this next slide is not just crude pipeline, but this slide just illustrates the amount of infrastructure and pipeline that feeds into the entire US. And you'll see the large hub that originates here in the St. James area of Louisiana. So St. James and Intertech. So in the late 90s, there was a group of crude quality uh, personnel, a lot of inland refiners that were very dependent on receiving crude oil via pipeline system, via the cap line system specifically. What the group did is they formed, they organized, they started an organization called the RCOQ. And what they did was one of their missions was to implement crude quality specifications on crude pipelines. The similar had already been done on various gasoline and distillate pipelines, but it had not happened in crude. So they designed a testing program where they analyzed multiple samples of raw crude coming out of the ground in South Louisiana. And once they developed a benchmark of what that crude should look like, they actually implemented the LLS cap line slate. This was a huge win for the crude industry because it was the first time it had happened and it has really changed the face of crude quality today. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Lyle and let him discuss lab capabilities. Oh, good, uh, good morning, thank you, Shauna. Uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Lyle Johnson, and I work as a site manager here at our St. James lab. Uh, in, in addition to my uh, international coordination duties, I uh, oversee the daily operations uh, coordination of analysis and uh, to much everything I uh, need to take care of at office. Uh, my experience with St. James started way back in 2000 when I started an inspector in the region and watched firsthand the growth to what we see today. Uh, I first got involved with Saint Lange, Saint, the St. James project back in 2018 and helped its development from inception to design and its construction. Uh, we designed the state-of-art lab to provide the fast, accurate analysis for our clients, whether it's component testing, blending modeling, or batch certifications. We take care of all your testing needs. Uh, we'll now give you a quick rundown of some of the key tests we perform here in St. James and follow this up with a quick vi walk, video walkthrough of our office. So, uh, next slide, please. Okay. Uh, some of our key tests we run uh, is our distillation, uh, both regular distillation and a high temp sim disc. Uh, chlorides, uh, which is critical for the screwed movements. Uh, light ends analysis, and as well as mercury uh, analysis. Next slide. So uh, nitrogen. And so these are just a few of the tests that we can do in-house. And uh, obviously, uh, we are always evolving. So next slide we're going to show you is a quick little video of our operations. OK. 
Okay, so as we enter our facility. So, uh, well, as you walk in, we have this uh, 20 foot bench uh, full of our GCs. This is where you see our methanol uh, light in and sim disks. And here's our, our densitometers. And in the back, you have our uh, metal analysis ICP. Uh, here's our Hariba sulfur. And here's the Petromax that we discussed earlier, that Corey discussed. Uh, the Petromax is uh, a really game changer for us. Uh, it allows us to do uh, instant sulfur analysis and metals to give us an idea of what we're expecting uh, for the long run test. Uh, here we're looking at our Carl Fisher as well as our chloride, <clears throat> give me, chloride combustion IC for chlorides. And here's another view of it. And then here is our uh, IC. We can run uh, both dry ash and organic metals. And here's one of our one of two of our RVP units. And then here is our sulfur oh, sulfur area. And a quick little view of our conference room. So, so thank you for that quick little tour and joining me. And now I'll turn it back over to. Carrie Walter, who uh, will be fielding the questions people have submitted in chat. Carrie? Thank you, Lyle, and the rest of you guys. Great job. Um, so, big thanks to our presenters. Um, we have some questions. If you'd like to have a question um, answered and you haven't already sent them in, you can do so now. Um, our first question we received, you mentioned recent changes in metal methodologies for the Louisiana crude. Can you explain some of these recent changes? Yes, Carrie, so I'll take that question. So in when these um, specifications were developed in the 90s, there wasn't necessarily a good methodology for running metals. That, that covered exactly metals and crude. There was an IP method available at the time and it, they call it dry ash method, which just entails burning the crude oil sample off of the, out of a, a cup or a biker, diluting it and running it on an ICP. So Intertech developed an in-house method that modified it a little bit more specific towards crude and that was utilized to develop the specs that have been in place for almost 20 years now. In 2019, there is a more modern method that's now an AS10 method and it's 5708. And that replaced the IP method. I believe the original IP method might have outdated itself in 1960, I mean, in, um, in 2016. So that was the reason for the original change. Very recently, there's been an additional change. The IP 570 or ASTM 5708 method does not address a dry ash method. And the owners of CapLine went back and added IP 501, which will enable the customer base to request a dry ash method which was similar to the original specs. Okay, thank you, Shauna. Our second question, can you perform assay work? Yes, Intertech has full crude assay capabilities in the Lower River region. So yes, the answer is yes, they have a full robust out, out assay program. Okay, thank you. We have another question. I'm currently using Intertech New Orleans for all my jobs. Do I now contact St. James' office from now on? Hey, Carrie, I'll take that one. This is Corey. 
Uh, that's a great question. Uh, it really depends on the job type. If it, if it still consists of a marine movement, uh, like a barge or a ship, um, I would recommend still staying with the contact you have in New Orleans. Um, but outside of that, if it is tank sampling, analysis, submitted samples, um, shipping samples for your crew projects, crew samples, you can certainly contact our uh, St. James lab directly. Um, we have the information, as you can see on the slide right there, the phone number and the email address. And, uh, and that way you're not having to call somebody to have them call somebody. You can just call the St. James lab directly, which will uh, most time be Lyle. He'll be the main point of contact down there. So thank you for that question. Thanks. We have another question. Are you staffed 24-7? Oh, hey, Gary. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, so, yeah, we are staffed 24-7. Our chemists are here. Uh, we also have inspection staff uh, for tank sampling and marine work. So 24-7, 365. Okay, perfect. Um, here's another one. Do you only test crude from St. James? Can I ship crudes from other areas there? I have field samples that I want to blend. Oh, yes, most definitely. Uh, so we receive samples from all regions uh, internally and externally from customers. Um, uh, you're more welcome to give me a call. I'll give you an address or could give me an email, allow.johnsoninternetech.com. Uh, I can shoot you, that, uh, give you the address. Uh, so yes, send us in them our way. Okay. Uh, we have this question. I'm doing crude right now, but looking for methanol testing in the future. Are you going to expand your capabilities to include methanol testing or other testing? Hi, okay, this is Byron. I will take this question. When we uh, picked this building, we specifically designed it for expansion. Uh, methanol is on our list to expand into. It's a growing market in the St. James region, and uh, we have full intentions on continuously adding capabilities to that lab. We're currently only using about 50% of the building. We we'll left the other 50% open for expansion. So, so again, we have full intentions on expanding the capability in that particular lab. Okay, thank you. Um, I see that we have a few more questions, but due to the time allotted for this webinar, all the questions will be answered by email. If you have any further questions in the future, please feel free to contact us via the on-screen email that you see right now. Um, also, a recorded version of this webinar will be available on intertech.com, and we'll also be sending everyone an email with a link to the recording. That concludes our webinar today. I want to thank all of our presenters, Byron, Corey, Shauna, Lyle. Uh, thanks for taking your time. And of course, for all of our attendees, we appreciate you taking the time to visit with us today. And we hope you have the rest of the day as good. Mm -hmm.